We are working new details in the story. The Target 12 investigators first reported on WPRI.com. We've learned federal agents have asked Providence officials for records about Gordon Fox. This is the third day in a row Target 12 has uncovered new details about the investigation swirling around Gordon Fox. And tonight we're taking a close look at Fox's relationship to Providence City Hall. Let's get right to Target 12 investigator Tim White, who's been working this story from the beginning. A spokesperson for the city confirms for Target 12 that federal agents subpoenaed documents related to Fox on Wednesday. On March 21st, state and federal investigators armed with search warrants raided the State House office and home of former House Speaker Gordon Fox. As Target 12 previously reported, they also paid a visit to his then executive assistant. Hi, I'm Tim White. Do you have a quick second for me? No, I have no comment. And the Rhode Island Board of Elections seeking campaign finance records on that day. Now, nearly a month later, we're learning they have subpoenaed records from Providence City Hall. A spokesperson declined to say what records were requested, but that they are fully cooperating with law enforcement. Really comes Target 12 checked Fox's history with the city of Providence. We found he was hired as an assistant city solicitor in 1996. In 2001, he was appointed to the city board of licenses by former mayor Vincent Buddy Cianci. Fox stepped down from the board in 2004, but was reappointed as vice chairman under former mayor David Cicilline, then left for good in 2009. He has also done outside legal work for the city. In 2007, he began closing loans for the Providence Economic Development Partnership. Fox has not been charged. The Rhode Island U.S. Attorney's Office declined to comment on these latest developments. The search warrants in this case remain under seal. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. The Target 12 investigators were the first to break this story, and we've been tracking it every step of the way since then. Our in-depth coverage continues on air and online. You can go to WDPRI.com for a detailed breakdown of the investigation surrounding former House Speaker Gordon Fox.